Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Some of you sent me this logo and it looks really familiar. I thought I'd done it, something like this before. And I'm gonna do the P. The S might be a little bit, uh, a little bit harder, but the P is not too bad. So we need to make this, and it doesn't trace, so we need to make this bottle shape. And a couple ways you could do it. One, you could do it right on top of this one with, uh, let's go with the rectangle tool and let's just get a rectangle about that size and, and then convert it to a curve. And then that allows you to manipulate the node. So we're gonna change that one to right there and then that one to right there. And we're kind of getting the shape of it um, like that. Now, I'm gonna actually make those even, so I'm gonna go up to align and distribute, or um, align the nodes, and I'm gonna make those even. Now I'm gonna grab them both, and I'm gonna double click a couple of times making more nodes. We don't need these extra ones up here, so I'm gonna go and delete them. I'm gonna take these, and I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna convert them to a curve. And then I'm gonna take these three, and I'm gonna kinda of extend them out to there, and you see what's happening. Of course, they didn't, they didn't curve very well, so let's um, let's take one at a time. It is a curve, but we can change that in a minute. So now we've kind of got the shape, and by going kind of by their example, we can uh, definitely make this a little bit closer. We can maybe actually delete that node and delete that node and use the curve to bring that down. And this is one of those times you might want to um, actually um, use a three-point curve. But you get the idea. You can play around with that for a, for a long time. And I think I've got it pretty close. I want the mouth of a little bit bigger. So I'm actually going to grab and uh, double-click and hit a node and make another node there. And like I said, you could spend a long time to make sure that's right. Now I'm gonna nudge that out of the way and I'm gonna turn it black so we can see it. And then the problem is, is I, you need to find this font. Uh, so I'm just gonna use the letter P and turn it into that font, which is about as close as I could I get it without looking uh, for it more. And this is the P is not even close. I want to make it bold and then I'm going to double click and I'm going to skew it because actually it can't be uh, skewed. Now we're going to make it bigger. And if you had that exact font, you'd be better off. So now I'm going to take this shape. I'm going to make my P a little bit smaller. I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to put it on top of my P and I want it to go past the edge. So I'm gonna go here and then make it longer. And you need to make sure it's long enough to go past the arc of the P. We're gonna turn it white, the outline white for a second. And then let's go to object and order and put it in front of page so we can see it. Actually, I don't want it all that white. I don't want the center white. I just, so we're going to change it to something other than a hairline. Uh, four is too much. Two is pretty good. So I did it white so I could see it. Now we're going to move it where it, the leading edge is past there. And actually, I want to make it a little bit longer. And then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to manually move it down where it's just spacing out. And then I'm going to control D all of them. Now, they're not following the guideline. Let me change my nudge factor just like to two inches. I'm going to grab my black item and move it out of the way. And then I could select all these. Select all these and make them black so we can see them. And group them together, control G. And then I could actually skew them just like the text. And I can actually bring this back in and see how close we are. And since we don't need to nudge, we're pretty close to the option that we want. 
And now just taking, um, let's make those white again. Now let's move this P where we're kind of, let me move my nudge factor a little lower so it won't move so much. There we go, because we want this leading edge to be done like that. Now I'm going to grab them both. Well, that isn't working. I've got 15 objects. Let me let me put my nudge factor back up to three inches this time. Try to grab just the letter. I grab the other. So this is a text, so I need to convert it to a curve for this to work. Now I can move that like that, just nudge it over, grab it all, and I'm going to intersect. Now here's the key. Keep it, uh, nudge it, don't do anything else. Now let's grab all those deals and make them black. So let's make these black so we can see them. And then what we need to do is Let's tell you what, let's make the P an outline so we can see it. Let's nudge these back, sorry. And I didn't really get it past the line like I wanted it, but you'll get the idea. I'm gonna left click, right click. And now I'm going to smart fill with the smart fill tool, that line. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna carry it over and make our point. And I didn't do a good job of uh, getting them very big. I must have double clicked on a couple of them. Kind of hard to talk and click. It's like uh, rubbing your head and whoop. Rubbing your head and trying to pat your foot on the ground. But you get the idea. And if I would have made those longer, and maybe a little bit better. There's basically that P because we did that, you know, what we did. Now the S is gonna be a little bit harder, but it's the same principle. You just need to, uh, you know, look at this and, and actually kind of stage them in there maybe by hand. I might take the time, I've had a really busy day and I'm bushed to make a second video on the P or on the S's, but the P looks pretty good. And you could play around with that uh, and make it look better for yourself. Once, you, If you have to do this, if you're just using this as an example, then it doesn't matter what font you use. But if you're having to reduplicate this logo, you're going to have to find a, a, a font that's a little closer. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you.